What's going on guys? Happy holidays to all of you guys. I hope that you had a Merry Christmas and that you have an even better New Year. Uh, before Christmas, I went bargain shopping with my wife at Rack Stores. Uh, she wanted to get me a few stocking stuffer fragrances. Uh, she ended up getting me one, but we will talk about that in this video. But I wanted to do a follow along, so I did in all of the Rack Stores I went to before and after Christmas. I, uh, If you guys have been watching my channel, I've been away for a few days, so I went to a few Rack Stores in my area and a few while I was away. And I did pick up a few fragrances, so follow me along while we go to Burlington, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. I also also went to Nordstrom Rack and Saxon Fifth, but they didn't really have anything, and Ross. So yeah, you're going to be following me along. I found some fragrances that might be in, of interest to you, but we're going to do some bargain shopping today. So without further ado, let's get it. What's good, my great smelling dudes? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Randy, aka Fragrance Dude. Thank you guys so much for joining me for yet another bargain hunting rack store video. Happy holidays to all of you guys. Make sure that you show your boy some love. Hit that like, put me on the algorithm. Definitely put a subscribe if you like my channel and you're not already, it takes a second. Comment below, let me know if you've been to any rack stores lately, if you picked anything up, what it is it. I'm very interested in that. Um, but yeah, also if you want my video sooner, hit the notification bell. So yeah, uh, I went out the day before Christmas Eve. I went rack store hunting. And I do wanna let you know that there's thousands of fragrances usually in your rack stores the day before Christmas Eve. Um, and then right after Christmas, they pull them all off and throw them back to the manufacturer for the most part. My Marshalls had like 300 and then two days after it had like 16 or 20 fragrances, nothing crazy. So if you saw a loss, it's not because people bought them. Most of the, I mean, there's some were bought obviously, but they were sent back to the manufacturer. They always do that the day after Christmas. I'm not sure why. Um, well, it makes sense. But with that said, I went through all the different rack stores that I have in my area. Uh, what is a rack store? If you're new to the fragrance community, it's basically just a bargain hunting fragrance store that you don't, it's like a discounter, but in person. It's like Nordstrom Rack is the rack store bargain hunting version of Nordstrom. Um, with that said, I went to Burlington, TJ Maxx, Ross's, Marshall's, Nordstrom Rack, Saxon Fifth, Macy's Backstage, and that is pretty much the only rack stores that you can go to that are worth anything. Macy's Backstage, really, they get a gem like every once in a while, but for the most part, just check that, but don't be surprised if they have nothing. Um, Nordstrom Rack and Saxon Fifth had really nothing this time. Uh, Nordstrom Rack had an Atelier 10 milliliter trial kit, but I already reviewed that and I already bought it, so I decided not to review that. So the ones that you're gonna see in this video are Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and uh, Burlington. I went the day before Christmas Eve and two days after Christmas while I was away. I ended up picking up three fragrances. One I will talk about because my daughter's giving that to me for a gift, um, but the other two I do have right here. Um, but first, I wanna go through and show you guys my little journey of going through, letting you know the fragrances I saw, whether they're worth it. Again, there's a lot of new clones out there um, that were really interesting, which kind of spawned this video, because, uh, yeah, before they had clones of crap, and now they have clones of really nice fragrances, actually. So anyway, we're gonna start it out with Marshalls. So again, my Marshalls had so many fragrances. You guys can see when I show you the videos. The first one here is called Mouge Jubilee 25. I wonder what that's a clone of. It's a clone of a Mouge Jubilation 25. Um, with that said, is it similar? It does have that same Mouge DNA, that's for sure. It's still slightly cheapened, and it still kind of has like a 75 to 80% smell of what that DNA smells like. I've never liked a Mouge. Um, there's a few that are okay for me. But Amouage Jubilation, I mean, it does do it okay. Uh, it's not nearly the best clone that they had at this place, but just in case you were interested and you like Amouage Jubilation, they do have that there, and they also have other Amouage lookalikes. Uh, so just an FYI. Uh, the second one here was um, all Tom Fords. They got a lot of Tom Fords in, and one I'm not going to show on this video is the Lost Cherry, because I saw that the last time I went, but I didn't videotape it. It was back in the women's section. If you're in Marshalls or TJ Maxx, always go back to the women's section because that's usually where they put the unisex fragrances, some men's fragrances that they think are women's, and some fragrances that they just mark wrong. Uh, but there's a lot that are usually back there. But 
I can't remember the name of it, but it was a Lost Cherry clone, and it looked like Lost Cherry, and it smelled kind of like a more synthetic, surprisingly, version of Lost Cherry that lasted longer. But my wife still liked it, so just an FYI. Then they had Ombre Leather. I wonder what that is a clone of. It's A-M-B-R-E instead of O-M-B-R-E. It's a clone of Ombre Leather, and it smells like a... Rack store version of ombre leather. It gets it actually pretty close, but it's more synthetic. Uh, the leather isn't as realistic, but you can't really get a real leather note. They just try to mask it by using higher quality oils. And in this one, they don't use those higher quality oils, but still compared to other ombre leather clones that I've smelled, it's still pretty up there. So for $16.99, which is what all, most of these fragrances cost, I mean, if you're looking for something cheap that smells like ombre leather, it definitely does it. Next one would be Tuscany leather. Tuscany leather, I wonder what that's a clone of. It's a clone of Tuscan leather. They don't get the raspberry note correct in this. Um, it's there, but it's fruity, but not like a fruity raspberry. It's close, but it more just, it does smell like Tuscan leather, just again, cheaper. Of all of them, this is probably the one that doesn't get it as close. Um, it still smells good though. Uh, I would say if you want to smell like Tuscan leather, but you don't want to pay the price and you want to spend under $20, this one still is a nice one. It still gets it about 70% correct, just lower quality, stuff like that. Uh, I did try all these out on skin, just an FYI. The next one is Oud Woody. Again, what the hell is that a clone of? It's clone of Oud Wood, and it's actually not bad. I actually quite like this one. Uh, the Oud Woody is still synthetic and still smells cheaper, but you expect that from a rack store, but it's good. I mean, it is definitely a good fragrance. I mean, I, I can't knock it for that. I almost bought it and I'm probably going to buy it, but I already have a clone of Oud Wood, so that's what made me decide. I'm going to smell my other clone that I have and then go back and see what the differences are, but it, it's that good that I'm debating it. Uh, another one that I saw there... Um, the, there's two of them, and I've seen them there for a while. These are ones that have been there for a good, a good amount of time. They are clone of Parfums to Marley Fragrances. The first one is Contra Ferros Royal Edition. It is a clone of Parfums to Marley Pegasus. So these ones don't get them correct. Uh, they do smell good still, but they don't really get the almond correct in the Pegasus. Um, there's still an almondy note, but it's like an oil. Like it smells like a candle oil almost. Um, but it does kind of get it right where you can understand if you know what Pegasus smells like, you know what they're cloning. Um, but there was another reviewer, Central Hub, that reviewed these. He likes them, and I think they smell good. It's just if you're looking for something that does Pegasus as well as like the Alhar Main does, I, I don't, you're not going to get that. I would still rather go with like Armoff Craze that has that little bit of a sharp opening. I would still rather go with that for the cheaper option. But if you're looking for something that's handy right in your face and you want something that smells like Pegasus, there you go. Contra Ferros Royal Edition. And then they have one of Leighton, which is Contra um, Exquisite Edition. And it's a clone of Leighton and it smells like kind of like a Leighton-ish. It doesn't really have that apple-y tone. Again, it's another one of those like raspberry one from the Tuscan leather where it's more of a how do i say it it's more of a fruity tone than an apple tone and then the amber it's more of like an amber sweetness that's just brought through with this fruitiness in a synthetic tone it still smells in the realm of Leighton, but there's a lot better clones out there for around the same price like detour noir you can buy for like 22 dollars right now so just get that um Detour Noir is really good. Uh, but if you're looking, for, again, for something that's in your hand handy, then Contra Exquisite Edition. Just so you guys know, there are clones like this at the store that you might not know what they are because they look super cheap. Um, but then there's two that are actually really good, not including the one that I bought, but they're the same brand. This is the Velvet Collection Black Intenso, which is the clone. So they have a line. This is a clone line. That is cloning the line of fragrances of the Private Blend Dolce & Gabbana fragrances in the Velvet line. And it's a clone of Velvet Black Incenso. Uh, it's Black Incenso. Um, and this one's actually a really good clone. I, as far as the price, it's still synthetic and stuff. Like, yeah, that's what you expect. Again, I'm not going to mention that again. But Black Intenso is actually pretty nice. 
If you see this at your thing and you like the original Black Incenso, or if you've never tried it before, at least give this a shot. The one thing I have to say about this line, this cologne line, is that the first like minute or so is not the best part of any of them. Um, it's the dry downs that really kill in it, but they get to the dry downs very quickly. So Black Intenso is one that you should definitely try out. And the other one that I wanted to talk about is in the same line, and it's one that my daughter's giving for me as a gift. It is the Velvet Collection, and it's called Ombre Sun. And it's a clone, again, of the Private Blend Dolce & Gabbana, and it's Amber Sun. Uh, so, I mean, they're obviously cloning Ombre Sun, Amber Sun, Velvet, Amber Sun, Velvet Collection, Ombre Sun. So this one, I don't know what Ombre or Amber Sun smells like per se. I've smelled it before, but I can't remember it. But I'll just give you an idea what this smells like. So again, the opening minute or two, it has this animalic amber. So the opening isn't the best part, but... As soon as this gets that animalic amber out the window, it is actually really freaking good. It turns into an ambery undertone that is just rich and sweet and warm, mixed together with vanilla and cinnamon. And the vanilla and cinnamon is so good. This reminds me of a mixture between a synthetic Grand Soir and tobacco and tonka bean by Banana Republic. And that's the dry down. Again, the opening, it's animalic amber. It's not the best part. I wanted to wash it off my hand for a minute or so. But as soon as it dries down, my wife agreed. My daughter agreed. It's really freaking good. Uh, so that is Velvet Collection. I think it's like LaBelle or something like that. They're sold a lot of times at Anthropology. Um, I know there's another line, one of the ones that I picked up that is sold at Anth Anthropology. It's Le Monde. Le Monde. Uh, anyway, but that's Velvet Collection, Ombre Sun, and Black Incenso. Intenso. They're actually really good. You should try them out. Um, I think for a clone line that's sold at Marshalls for 16 bucks, you should definitely buy them. Uh, if you like those fragrances, obviously. Uh, so now we're going to talk, before we get into the other store, we're going to talk about the one that I bought from Marshalls. So this one, I wanted to buy a few weeks ago. It is a clone of Mason Margiela's uh, By the Fireplace. But I don't really like By the Fireplace that much. I think it smells like a candle. While it still smells nice, this is a clone of it that adds almost like an aromatic chocolate to it. It is chocolate hazelnut. So this is sold at the store Anthropology a lot of times. I've seen it there before. And this is by Le Monde Gourmand. The same, uh, this is the Gourmand collection. Well, that one was the Velvet collection. But this is chocolate hazelnut. And Honestly, the best way to say this is it's a amber-based fragrance, just like By the Fireplace. But this one, it's almost like if you took By the Fireplace, amped up the amber, and then mix it together with, like, the aromatic chocolate you get from, like, Bad Boy Extreme or One, one Million uh, Royal, kind of like that, but mix it together with By the Fireplace. If you see this... This is fan freaking tastic. Sweet, chocolatey, ambery, really nice for the fall and winter. My wife really likes it. And it's a not just a spray that lasts about six to seven hours, but it's also for your hair too, which I know a lot of people do spray a spray or two of cologne in their hair or on their hat. But this is a body spray and a hairspray. So I gotta tell you. This is actually really freaking good. I like it a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. And it was only $16.99. Uh, I mean, you can't really beat it for a By the Fireplace clone that By the Fireplace is already synthetic. So this one doesn't have anything that's like overly synthetic, but really good fragrance. You should definitely try it out. Chocolate hazelnut. And now we're going to get into the fragrances that I bought from... Um, so that was TJ Maxx and Marshall's put together. And now we have Burlington. So when I was at Burlington... They didn't, they, Burlington's really been kind of shysty lately. They have Michael Jordan Legend, which I just picked up not that long ago, but I've already reviewed that, so I'm not putting that in this video. They still did have that. They also had Lacoste Blanc Eau Intense, which I didn't take a video of. I actually didn't take many videos while I was in there. And the price was $49.99 for that, so that was actually a pretty good price as well. Outside of that, there was no Banana Republics. There was nothing else good, really at all. There was like 50 Cent, Cristiano Ronaldo, which is actually not that bad, CR7. Um, but this one, 
or well, the first one I'm going to show you is the one that I didn't buy um, because I was between one or two and it was the day before Christmas and I was thinking to myself, should I buy it? Should I not? Should I buy it? Should I not? And then I decided not to, and I decided to get the other one because I wanted something fresh because I have a lot of warm fragrances right now. But the fragrances by uh, that I didn't buy is Ferragamo Womo Signature. Really good fragrance. I was sent a decan of this by Mo. Um, aromatic, a little bit like of a um, coffee vibe going on in there. It's the signature version of the original, a little bit different, has a little bit of a twist, but it was 40, 39.99, which is pretty much the price you can get it online, which is why I wasn't too overly excited to get it because I mean, it's a good price. If you find it in person, you can, you don't have to pay for shipping. You don't have to wait for it. But one most signature was the only one they had there. And I would have easily picked that up if I didn't pick up this next one, but this next one, and they did have the tobacco and Tonka beans, but I already have that. I've done videos and videos of videos of that, but they didn't have any other banana republics like the ones I'm trying to get like Neroli woods and stuff like that. Anyway, so the one I did buy, uh, I'll show you me purchasing it, but it is Polo sport fresh by Ralph Lauren. This fragrance has been on my wish list for a cheapie for a while um, because Jeff from SoCal Scent sent me a decan of it. He calls it the best uh, gym scent out there. And I wouldn't go that far because I, there's still other fragrances I say are the be better gym scent. But Polo Sport Fresh, I just bought this and I couldn't even wait to get it out of the box because I just wanted to smell it um, from the bottle because again, I had the decant, but Polo Sport Fresh. Uh, you can buy it for about the same price that I got it for online, which is like 25 bucks, I believe I paid for it, 29 bucks, something like that. Um, but I don't care. I, I just wanted to have it in person. Pull a sport fresh. It only lasts like two to three hours, but it is a really, really good gym scent. It's almost like an aromatic minty green version of the Polo Sport DNA. It's fresh, it's clean, it's modern. And I gotta say, for a fresh clean gym scent out of the shower scent polo sport fresh it really is one of the best gym fragrances out there if you want an easy cheap gym scent that smells fantastic it is probably the best polo sport that's out there right now to be honest with you i mean i haven't talked about polo sports since i was like 18 but yeah the mintiness in this the aromatic tones that c notes are really beautiful it's like a marine green aromatic fragrance that has some little bit of like a creamy sweetness underneath it uh the mint in that is really freaking good but that is polo sport fresh really 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 like that um so that was my bargain hunting so i wanted to know do you guys think that was some good pickups for some cheapy hunting was this video informative um informative and would you like to see other videos like this would you like me to go bargain hunting like once a week and at least even if i don't buy anything would you like to see videos like this let me know in the comments below and again happy holidays and i'll be back with another one peace out